A question of character. Rick is not Jason. Rick has the same physical makeup as Jason. He has the same clothes as Jason. Rick has the same mask as Jason. Rick is not Jason. Rick is Rick. Rick is massive. His frame is decorated with a chunky muss. Also, he has a suspicious load in his underwear. Rick has a girlfriend. Her name is Jennifer. They took refuge in a mansion, but it was an evil mansion. The mansion has a womb. They were lost in the woods and taken surprise by a dangerous storm. However, the evil mansion is certainly more dangerous than any mere storm of God. The monsters murder Rick, remove his gorgeous hair, and kidnap Jennifer for evil monster experiments. Left for dead, the hell mask possesses Rick's body. It resurrected him and gave him the power of a man with multi hearts. The mask will not be removed until his mission to destroy hell chaos has been completed. Rick will punch faster punch punch, punch faster. faster. He will punch anything with his fist no matter how slimy no matter how good. Watch for the hook. Rick is a master of brutality. Fetus kick. Rick has a devastating sweep kick as well as the sweep slide jumping side kick. Rick is not Jason. His ability to maneuver throughout water is unmatched. Rick jumps out the water with the power of fish. Astonishing. Rick is unafraid of the poltergeist. Rick will punch the poltergeist. Knife kick. Picture punch. Rick uses the street sweeper. Buck shots. Rick is not Jason. If Rick stalls in his quest, he must face the purple force. Face the purple force. If Rick is hurt, he will lose a heart. If too many of his hearts are lost, he will fall unconscious. But the hell mask will not allow Rick to die. He will again resurrect Rick and force him to repeat his slaughter. Rick faces the most disrespectful types of monster. Gruesome heads circling an upside down cross. Severed hands that give Rick the finger. And those fetuses. Kick the hymen. Rick will fight Mirror Rick, a doppelganger version of himself with an inferior sweet kick and dirtier clothes. The mansion is a house of splatter where everything is juicy. That's this guy. And many, many worms. Fortunately, Rick uses weaponry, the cleaver. It will chop his enemies down to size, the lumber. Let's decorate this house with splat and various wrenches, rocks, and sharpened spears. And don't forget about the street sweeper, who's in the mood for butt shots. Rick will finally rescue Jennifer, but it will be too late. Tragically, the mansion monsters have changed. Jennifer is now a revolting monster. She is full of horrid. Rick must defeat Monster Jenny with sweet cakes. Sadly, during her battle, she will come back to normal, crying in desperation. But no, Jenny, you're a monster. Rick will sweet kick her to death. Rick will hold her wistful spirit as it vanishes into nothingness. He will continue his fight. After destroying the evil mansion's vagina, he sets out to destroy Hell Chaos, a nauseating man of hell shaped like a normal man that fights from beneath the earth. Rick will sweet kick Hell Chaos. And when Hell Chaos is defeated, the Hell Mask has extracted its revenge through Rick. It disassociates itself from Rick, who is not adjacent, and thus the evil mansion burns. Rick is set free, but Rick will never truly ever be free again. That is because Rick's soul burned within the ashes of the evil mansion as he treks forward as an empty man. An empty man that still walks without hair or shoes. And the hell mask knows this, waiting for the day to return to Rick's face. <laughs> but not Jesus. A question, question of K Month of Terrible Characters. Next episode, if there is something strange, in the neighborhood, who are you going to call?
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.